right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So last we left off, we had just taken off the exhaust this car had with the valves. And then we put on full mortar nine on this car with our pipes. But now we're gonna be giving this car a full color change. And then we're gonna be debadging it, taking it all apart, replacing this damaged door with all the dents with the brand new door fender as well damaged new fender and then this hood damage with a carbon fiber uh hood and then we're going to be adding some side splitters as well a z1 aluminum under shroud and then new uh fender liners what else do we got for this car um i forgot what else we're getting <laughs> we're putting i think some we're swapping out the the spoiler with a different one and yeah we just did the exhaust too so so yeah we're gonna be giving this car a full color change right now so we're gonna start tearing everything apart getting the lip off the side skirts off mirrors door handles um, bumper headlights taillights all that etc etc like we always do we're also gonna be wrapping these in gloss black to match the roof we are gonna be wrapping the roof gloss black as well just because it's painted but it's kind of like scuffed up now and the owner wants to protect it so we're gonna get right into it with the door and we're uh so that one has the glass and everything so we just need to undo the bolts from here here uh so it's two up two up top and two on the bottom and undo this thing right here and then just undo the harness and this door should come right out all right so we are going to need the mirror at least from this door because that one doesn't have one so we're going to take this mirror off and then we'll start unbolting the rest of the door off. All right, so we got the door out now. I used the jack to kind of help me like hold the door up since I'm by myself. And then like uh, once you undo the bolts, these are kind of like really tight on. They have some like a little bit of adhesive on it. So just like wiggle it until it breaks loose and then you should be able to get the door out. As for the harness, you just need to, it's, it's held up like this to lock it in place but just make sure you push down on this clip right here where my thumb is at. And then um, you push down on it and this flap folds downward and then it unlatches it itself from the harness plug right here. And then the whole door just comes right out. And then we got the new door right here. Have this piece of foam kind of covering it right here, but door is complete, no issues, no bends or anything. So, so, I am gonna put it on, but not right now. Now that I have the door off, it makes it easier to do the quarter panel in this section right here. So uh, we're gonna leave the door off for now. We're gonna take off this fender and replace it with the new fender as well. And then uh, once we get the fender wrap, I'm only gonna have one bolt holding it because I do like to wrap up inside in here. So we've been doing a lot of sanding prep. As you guys can see, paint chipping from a lot of random places. It had a lot of touch of paint um, everywhere. <laughs> uh, from I, I think this car has been repainted or not. I'm not exactly sure, but there was little spots where they you could tell that they had a touch of paint. Owner gave the green light to sand everything down, especially like around this area right here was full of rock chips from uh, you know, just in general, like you can even see them on the hood, but luckily the hood's gonna be replaced, but look right, right here, you can see touch of paint, rock chips and stuff like that, but hood's gonna be replaced, so we don't have to worry about the hood, but everything else we have to sand down and make sure it's all smoothed out. Otherwise, those little touch of paint spots uh, are gonna be noticeable through the wrap because they bump up upwards over the paint like we got more right here i missed this one touch of paint right here so we're gonna sand this down as well and then i'm just gonna go double check around the car more random rock chips like there like i don't even know how that happens but yeah so we got a lot of random spots 
where the paint was chipping and the owner said it was fine to just go ahead and sand uh, the whole car. So we're gonna be doing that, making sure it's all smoothed out.
all right so we got the car all in one complete color we're gonna about to start putting everything back we're gonna i'm gonna be about to bolt up the side skirt back on and then put the new fender liners in here so um yeah so we're gonna put that back we're gonna put the side splitter on this side bolt up the rear bumper and all that and then we are going to be putting some carbon fiber uh caps on these so i think this one's for this one actually so with some double side tape that's gonna look good so we're gonna put that on and then we're also gonna be putting this z1 aluminum under tray or under shroud whatever you want to call it so there we have it so it's all in here in pieces with its hardware so all right so we're also wrapping these uh weather strips that go on the roof right here as you guys can tell so they'll be glossy black exactly how these are right here so currently wrapping this one it's a process taking this thing apart but it should be good all right guys so we are finally done look at that side splitters are on carbon hoods on we ended up going back to the original spoiler but he's gonna put on a carbon spoiler that goes above that one so that's gonna look pretty dope later on he's gonna bring it back to get the tail lights um, blacked out with tint but yeah look at that color Mesotech. And then we ended up wrapping the roof in gloss black along with the weather strips in gloss black as well. So that looks so dope. And then we put carbon fiber mirror caps on that. But damn, this color though. Yeah. Yeah. How to see? Complete. Sweet. Wait till you hear the exhaust still. Like that. <laughs> Get a few revs. Lights on. All right, guys so that is going to be the end of today's video again i hope you guys enjoyed the video this transformation was pretty dope full exhaust full color change and more car parts added onto it so the car came out looking pretty damn nice so again thank you guys for always supporting the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one